Good morning everyone. Today I would like to show you how to ally the model using network splitting. Uh, in this video, uh, I I will use the data sample. Uh, as you can see here, I have around 33 compounds and I have the IC50. It means that uh, the compound have inhibition 50% concentration. And the target, our target is we need to predict uh, the, we use the, the ANN model to predict uh, the PIC 50%, this is our target. And another uh, data is they call covariate. I have another one is molecular surface area, molecular volume, molecular weight, polarity. The ability, hydrogen, high, high rise, um, energy, and log p and log d. So the our target is how we can calculate the, uh, the prediction of uh, inhibition concentration fifty percent. So in this study, I will um, continue, uh, show you how to ally uh, and predict PIC fifty percent. So the first one, you need to open the MATLAB. Uh, so in here, uh, I already opened the MATLAB. And after you open the MATLAB, you need to click the button in the app. And after that, you click the, the button here. And you choose the network neural net fitting. So the, the methods, uh, you want to a network to map between data sets of numeric input and set of numeric. And uh, you know, you can see here your data here, and after that, they go to the hidden layers and they have a lot of process uh, to mix your data uh, to, um, to uh, classify to between um, trend set and uh, test sets. And after that, uh, your they calculate some. Um, uh, a model we call labeled burst uh, macros uh, backward uh, propagation algorithm and after that they can show you the results uh, so after you open uh, this, uh, this panel and you click next in here you need to input your data the first they, they call inputs and the second the uh, targets so what is the input and what is the targets Go back to data again, and now I delete here because it is our. Uh, I will not say unique one because it is the original one. Uh, the input is uh, the your the input is your outcome. The, it is, uh, the uh, here. I'm sorry. The input is your covariate. And in here, I will mark here. You call input, right? Input. 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 Input here, right? I might make the color yellow one here, and it is the target, this is your outcome, right? Because you want to calculate the PIC 50. So in here, you click the bottom here, and you click. Maybe I put the red one here, right? So, um, but uh, we need to um, um, we need to upload the data in here. So in here, I will uh, I will uh, let me see. Here, so I will uh, copy data to the another to other files. In here, input, I I open the file, and you can see here I have around a um, uh, vari covariate variable, right? Molecular surface area to log d. And the next one is the target. In here, let me see uh, the target. The target here, I also copy the. PIC 50 or uh, of 33 compounds. So after you um, prepare two files of, of data, input and target file, and you go back to the uh, MATLAB and you click the three dog here. And after that, you I go to my folder in the ANN model here and I select uh, input file and I open it because it takes time, so you need to wait. So after you um, uh, input successfully, they will show you data like that. And after that, you need to click next and you finish. Right. Uh, so up, uh, um, the second one is similar with input. You need to 
uh, upload your target file in here so also the same next finish but uh, very very careful uh, after you check data because in here they said that you know uh, I would sample only one sample but uh, actually uh, as I mentioned before right uh, our data have around 33 compounds uh, 33 compounds here it means that you need to choose the, the sample uh, matrix rows and after that you you, uh, you you select this button and it, the data said that you know we have 33 compounds of one element uh, correct and after that we need to click next and in here as I mentioned before right uh, in here the the machine will select randomly around 50% uh, sample of uh, training set around 33 sample here and validation around 15% 5 sample and testing around 5 sample so uh, after that we you click next and here uh, they ask you about how many number of hidden neurons uh, you want to apply uh, it depend on your uh, sample size if you have the small sample size you can uh, put the high number around 10 but you if your number um, uh, sample size is too high around 100 200 around 1000 you can uh, uh, recommend around 20 or maybe 30 around 40 um, uh, 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 up to your sample size but um, they already recommend around 10 20 30 40 but in here my sample size too, too slow I only choose 10 and after that I click next uh, in here they um, as I mentioned before right they have the training algorithms they have around three uh, methods. The first one is Levenberg, uh, Marquardt, or Bayesian, or May scale conjugate gradient. But um, uh, a lot of the articles, um, but uh, they recommend we use Levenberg. But if you run uh, this Levenberg, the result um, uh, is not good. For example, the R square is not uh, too high or MSM is too large. You can change to the Bayesian or may you scale conjugate gradient. Uh, up to you. But in here I will choose the level burst. I click the button train and around five seconds around you know they could show you the result right and you can see here the training set the, you know the R is around 9.9 and the uh, the variance uh, sample around 9.9 .9, and the train set is 9.9 .9, the MHE around you know 0 0.1 over 1 here so in here you also uh, see the plot fix the results let me see yeah and here this is the uh, result set that the function flicks of uh, output element one and they have a lot of trend set test set validation targets um validation outcome outputs but he a lot of techniques but uh, uh we uh, only focus on a plot regression um the plot progression here as you can see here they said that the training set the r around uh, 0.9 and the variation e the i 0.9 and uh, the similar with that and the, the total one is the RE 0.9 right and you can see um, our data e, um, appear linear the whole uh, sample it means that this model e appear it's so uh, perfect uh, so after that you need to uh, click next um, uh, to see um, the prediction of 50% DDR purpose so in here we no need to uh, did further uh, analysis so i only click next and also here they ask you about um, whether or not you want to uh, uh, generate matlab function with matrix or code generation or simulating um, deployment or graphics in here because i only want to predict uh, i see 50 percent so in this step i'm so um, um, it's kept i don't want to uh, um, uh, add it's in a, a further analysis in uh, the last one is very important uh, they said that in here you can see if you click the symbol scripts they will show you a lot of information about symbol scripts and you can copy here and you can run by yourself or uh, uh, advanced scripts in here you can add any you know uh, command if you want but in here you know my purpose is I want to see the uh, I see 50% prediction. This is my purpose, right? And you can see you 